basically we got where we are today by concentrating on organic produce. I think you could say that's the driving force behind our supermarkets. Yeah, what we really need is some more personal stuff, like who are the characters at Greenways. Right, can I just pick you up on one point there, Rick? It's actually Greenway. Mm. There is no S. Sorry, Greenway. <laughs> so who are, the, who are the characters at Greenway that I can talk about on stage? Well, I think it'd be better if oh. we just... Len Robbins, right. purchasing manager, resident head case. Last year, he ran the London Marathon in his swimming trunks. Snorkel, mask, the lot. Absolute classic. Did he wear flippers? Well, no, not flippers. Had his trainers on. So who else do we have? Angie Patel, facilities coordinator, Steve. or as I like to call her, head of bog rolls. Steve, no. She loves karaoke. Any excuse, she's up on the table dancing and Steve. singing. Angie's just had a miscarriage. What? You think, leave her alone? Probably best. Anyone else? Spring to mind? Not really. I think it's oh, probably oh, better. Andy Sturrock, Northwest Area Manager. Now, I was out for a drink with Andy, and he confessed to me that he'd had his family tree done. And it turns out he's actually a blood relative of Adolf Hitler. Seriously? I kid you not. That's amazing. That's a set right there. Isle Hitler. <laughs> the advisor are making you shop. Mm. Greenways is expanding. They're moving into Poland. Actually, I'd rather you didn't mention that, as he'll know you got it from me. He's got a hell of a temper on him. Who'd have thought? Do you want to adopt a Dr. tree? What? You can adopt a Dr. tree, look. Uh, no, no thank you. Yeah, you're probably right. We just grow up and reject us. You're not my real parents. You're not even real trees. No, I don't think adoption's your thing. What do you mean? Sam's chimp. Oh, that bloody zoo. You know, if you adopt a chimpanzee and it dies, they should tell you, not just keep taking money off you and spending it on other chimps and rhinos and God knows what else. You do not tell an eight-year-old that their chimpanzee is dead. Yeah, but it was. And they were trying to fob her off with some other manky old... She would never have known. It's life. Things die. It's an important lesson. She backed the wrong chimp. I don't think she ever got over it. Yeah, that's probably why she's with Ben. He's a chimp substitute. <laughs> right, better be off. Yeah, fun day ahead. Got a crisis meeting with Pippa. Oh, Pippa. 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 Who's Pippa? You know Pippa Coulson. She wrote all those working mother books. The Working Relationship, Marriage and the City. She's not getting divorced, is she? It's looking that way. <laughs> her husband says he never sees her. Hmm? Couldn't they stay together for the sake of the books? <laughs> Pippa. You're getting ready for Pippa. Greenways. Greenways. It's Greenway. Okay, Greenway. Being the Greenway Supermarket Awards, they're on special offer. Two for the price of one. Oh, please. Last year, someone missed out on an award and shot himself with a pricing gun. One ninety-nine. Right there on his forehead. Said he felt undervalued. It's all so lame. Well, why do you keep saying yes to this stuff? Well, sorry to inconvenience you with regular work. Rick, you gotta set your sights higher or we're gonna spend the rest of our lives writing gags for Greenways. This Greenway? Anyway, it's just a one-off. It's not like I do this kind of thing all the time. Of course you don't. Your career is a dazzling kaleidoscope of opportunity. I'll dig out that stuff I did last year for the Tesco do. Thank the Lord for cut and paste. That was good material. Just change the name to Greenway, we'll be there. You're gonna change the name. You are a perfectionist. Hey, Ben. Sam, how's it going? Yeah, good. Not bad, thanks. Ever shop at Greenways? Greenway. Uh, yeah, we used to get cider from there. Yeah, well, but Spikey got banned, so we don't go anymore. Did he? What did he do? You assume Spikey is somehow at fault. Yes, I do. Why did they ban him? Oh, uh, it was nothing, really. Um, he got caught nicking some biscuits, and so he went back to try and sort a fire in there. Oh. Yeah, ban him for life. That's a bit harsh. Yeah. Bad luck, Spikey. Yeah, still, um, Dad, uh, we were wondering maybe if you could put this up in the cafe for us. Sis? Um, 
Ben and me, we were going to start a business. Yeah, just thought, you know, might as well. Mm. Dog walking. A dog walking business. Great idea. Cheers. Mm, yeah. Mm. Um, so, uh, if you know anyone who has a dog, maybe you could tell them about it? Yeah, we'll come round, pick it up, hang out with it. Maybe take it for a walk. Yeah, yeah we, could, uh, we could do that. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Hmm. Oh, I like it. Parties. A friend of mine in the States told me about these. What the hell is it? Well, like it says here, it's for developing intimacy and communication skills in a boundary appropriate setting. Sounds creepy. Ah, so you spotted the cuddle party advert. <laughs> kind of weirdo goes to cuddle parties. Well, they're not all weirdos. I go. <laughs> You've been to one of these? Yes, yes, several. I find it quite rewarding. Quite healing. So what happens? You just go to one of the parties and cuddle total strangers? In an entirely non-sexual way. Yeah, but you still cuddle them. Only if you want to. Cuddling's not compulsory. You don't have to cuddle at a cuddle party. No, no. In fact, as it happens, I haven't actually given consent yet. I'm still just watching and working up to it. Good for you, Michael. Apparently, once you make that leap, it changes you forever. It makes you feel much more relaxed with the idea of physical touch. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah, it is. Actually, shall I just pop that back up on the board for others to see? Do you know what? I actually feel physically sick. Maybe you should go with Michael. I think you could use a cuddle. Oh, don't. I even hate the word. Which word? Cuddle? No, don't say it. Cuddle. No. Ah. No, oh, come on, say it. No, I don't want to. It's an easy word. Cuddle. M Marty, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I actually can't think of anything more disgusting than a group of people getting together for a big hug. If people want to do it, then let them. They're not forcing you to go. You're too right they're not. You're creepy. I can't understand why you're not more disgusted. Because it sounds harmless, and I'm sure some people benefit from it. It should be illegal. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not. Anyway, why does everything have to be a workshop these days? It's pathetic. What's up with you, then? No, no, I'm fine. Just, just Marty, his attitude. I wish he'd set his sights a bit higher, otherwise we're just gonna end up writing jokes about supermarkets for the rest of our lives. Have you said anything? No, what's the point? He's just lazy. He's cruising. <sighs> How'd you get on with Pippa? Not good. Mm. They're definitely splitting up. So what's she gonna do about all her books? Who put one of those slips in? Correction. The author is now divorced. It's very sad. Yeah, yeah. I guess there are some things a cuddle party won't solve. Oh. I didn't give consent. Just went to the men's room. No toilet paper. I thought, where's Angie Patel when you need her? Oh no, she just had a miscarriage. Supermarkets. Nobody uses the word super on its own nowadays. That really is a super hat you have on. I had a super holiday. Oh, but... shut up. Yeah, one of us is working on that. Hey, Magda. Sorry, um, there's no cleaner left for Beth. Really? Yes. Well, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe try the shop. Mel said she would buy some today. Did she? She must have been lying. I can only apologize. Oh, um, I forget. Um, there was a telephone call before. Yeah, oh, don't worry. They'll probably ring back. It would be for Mel anyway. No, he wanted to speak with you. He said what it was about. Mm, it was about a uh, movie. What? Did he leave a number? No, I'm sorry. Why didn't you get the number? You should always get the number. It was bad line. He was telephoning from Los Angeles. L.A.? Yes, from studio, from movie studio. What was his name? He did not say. Well, you should have asked him. Well, he put the phone down. Oh. Relax, he'll call back, he'll call back. If he telephone calls again, you want to speak with him? Oh, no, tell him to stick his movie. Of course I want to speak to him. Okay. 
And now I must buy cleaner for Beth. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, sorry. Concentrate on the important stuff. You can't even take a message properly. I might as well employ a six year old. I'll call back. It's genuine. Yeah, I know, but what do you mean if it's genuine? I'm just saying, she might have got the wrong end of the stick. Oh, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> you can't bear it, can you? A little bit of success comes my way. Well, Rick, nothing's happened yet. Yes, it has. I'll tell you what's happened. Someone's come to see me at one of these corporate gigs that you're so uninterested in and thought, hey, you know what? This guy's really got something. Let's give him a call. Maybe you're right. Maybe you got lucky. I'm just saying stay calm. I am calm. It's not lucky. Luck doesn't come into it. Then you got nothing to worry about. The guy will call back. Yeah, I know. I know he will. Stop going on about whether he'll call back. Ah, I'm happy to hang around here. Can't we at least get some lunch? Why do we have to go to the cafe every day? Let's just stay here and make a sandwich. Admit it, you're afraid to be away from the phone. No. If you must know, I just don't want to see Michael and he's trying to cuddle everyone. Oh, okay. I mean, maybe it's not actually working. It's a dial tone. That sometimes happens and there's no incoming call. That's quite a common fault. Is it? Yeah, I'll ring it, just in case. You sure you're not panicking? This isn't about the phone call. I'm just interested to see if the phone is working. There. That shouldn't have happened. I didn't hang up. There is a fault. I knew it. I bet he's been calling all day. Poor guy, he's trying to make a movie. He can't even get hold of his actors. It makes us look incompetent, doesn't it? Sorry, the telephone's ringing, but there's nobody there. Okay, thanks, mate. That's probably a fault. I'll report it. But what if it's Los Angeles man trying to telephone call you and he can't make a ring? Yeah, good point. I hadn't thought of that. That's him. Answer the phone, Magda. No, let it ring a couple more times. Answer it. You don't want to appear desperate. I'm not desperate. Answer the phone. Okay, one more for luck. Answer the bloody phone, Magda. Hello? I can hear you. Yes, he's here. Would you... Here is... Hi. Yeah, yeah, it's Rick's been here. Yeah, yeah, no worries. It's uh, just past midday here, yeah? Uh, just chilling. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, great. Yeah, I do. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I want to speak to you. Me? Yeah. Phone for you. Hello? You seem a little annoyed. What? I'm not. I couldn't care less. What does annoy me is someone ringing me on my private line, wasting my time just because I want to talk to you, because that's unprofessional. And rude, actually. Well, they didn't know how to track me down. I mean, how do you know Will Stacy anyway? Well, from years ago. We started the circuit at the same time, and he was always like my stand-up, so now he's a huge star, and he wants me it's to help him write right. his next movie. I don't want your whole life story, so you got lucky because you know someone. Who wants me to help him write his next movie? Well, why can't he write it himself? Sounds like an idiot to me. He must be panicking if he wants you to fly out there tomorrow. I mean, how long are you going to be gone for, anyway? No, who knows? A couple days, a couple weeks. They're just flying me out for talks. You know? I'm not flying you out there. They've just bought you an airline ticket. As you wish. Well, I hope you get a blood clot and your legs drop off. Not in first. Now they got flat beds. You can get a massage. Yes, OK. So you're just going to fly off to Hollywood and leave me to write the Greenways gags, are you? Well, that would be the plan. Oh, and don't forget, it's Greenway. That's marvellous news, isn't it? Fantastic. Yep, isn't it? We have a star in our midst. Well, two stars. What? Oh, yes, yeah. Well, one and a half. <laughs> I better take this. Yeah, why don't you take that? Oh, Hollywood, you must be delighted for him. I am. That's the sort of break the people in your business dream about, isn't it? Nah, I personally don't, but it's good for Marty, yeah. Good? Cool. I should, Coco. You read about these struggling writers who suddenly get a smash hit, and there you go. Check for five million dollars. Thank you very much. Not regular money, though, is it? So what about you? Yeah, things are really good. I got a couple of projects. So... No, I meant, what can I get you? Would you like to try the special? Yeah, why not? Try this special. Okay, well, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Okay, 
see it, but... Actually, this is rather good timing. Uh, at cuddle party last night, there was a first-time hugger. Congratulations, Michael. So, this seems like an appropriate moment. Don't jinx it. Good point. Yeah, I was just thinking, how's poor old Rick gonna come up with the funnies while you're sitting by your pool in Hollywood? Uh, I'm sure he'll be okay. I just do the typing. <laughs> As if. <laughs> Actually, if you are looking for a writer to help you out. No, just the special thanks. Buy a book for telephone messages? Good, fine. I can write a message and leave for you. Yep. If someone telephones, I can write a message. Yeah, I think here. I see how the system works, yeah, Magda. Leave and you will know. Because I am sorry. Why are you sorry? There's nothing to be sorry about. But telephone call was for Martin, not for you. It's fine, please. Just forget it. But I think you have been disappointed that telephone call was not for you, was for Martin. <sighs> disappointed? Well, yeah, I was disappointed at the breach of etiquette. They should have gone through the proper channels, but no. I'm happy for Martin. Oh, I'm glad he's going. Martin's going? I just have to pack and have the cat put down, and I'm ready to fly. Of course I'm joking. I've already packed. Okay, bye-bye. Money Penny, any calls while I was out? No, but I have bought message books. Oh, let's not go into all that again, can we please? So you are leaving? Yeah, Los Angeles. Fly out tomorrow. But you are coming back? Well, it all depends. If it goes well, I might just come back to pick up my stuff. Well, we, we will miss you. No way. Thank you, Magda. Come here. Give me a hug. I'll take lots of pictures and send them to you. Thank you. I would like that. Right, I'd better get on with these supermarket gags. Oh, come on, I'll give you a hand with that. Guess who I saw on the way home? Sam and Ben walking along with about seven dogs. So funny. <laughs> Slightly chaotic, but... So, Marty's off to America then? Yeah, apparently. When's he going? Tomorrow, I think. That soon? I think that's what he said. But he's coming back. Maybe, maybe not. Who cares? Like I say, he's been cruising. I've been coming up with all the stuff. Still, it must be nicer writing with someone. No. To be perfectly honest, the only useful thing Marty does is to keep me at my laptop. I don't need to pay someone to do that, so... So, it could be goodbye, Marty. Hmm? Hope so. Probably better if he stays there. Writing movies. Yeah, whatever. Women have telephoned. Would you like new windows in house? It's a very efficient message service. I wonder why Magda started doing that. Who knows? Did you see a message about Windows? Yes, I did, thanks. I put it on the note. I know. That's how I saw it. So you don't want new Windows? No. OK, if woman telephones again, I will tell her this. Fine. Just please don't leave me a message about it. 
Of course. So, Martin's going to America today? Yes. He should be on his way to the airport now, hopefully. And you can ride without Martin? Yes. I'm looking forward to it. It's better that way. Um, hi, Dad. Hi, Martha. Um, Has Ben phoned? No, I don't think so. No, he has not. I buy a book for telephone messages. Oh, he please. Had a telephone. Please. Yeah, well, um, if he does call, uh, can you let him know that I had to head off and I'm really late? Right. Sam, who's this? Oh, right, yeah, uh, this is Regan. He's one of the dogs. Oh, I see. Mm. Sam, is this going to happen a lot, bringing them inside? No, no, Dad, definitely not, no. Um, ben was supposed to take them off me so I could go to college, but he's not here because maybe I didn't arrange it. So uh, well, what I was thinking was uh, maybe I could leave him here for a bit and then when Ben comes around, he'll take him? No, sorry, no. Yeah, well, um, because Ben will be here really, really soon, if that's OK. No, it's not OK. Yeah, but, um, you know, it will only be for a short while. Perhaps I could put it in the garden? When will Ben be here? Soon, soon. Fairly soon. I don't know why I waste my breath. All right, but if it stays in the garden. Really? Excellent. Super, Dad. There you go. Um, and, oh, yeah, Dad, um, if he starts howling a lot, uh, it's because he likes to be with people, so you might want to bring him in for a bit. Great, super, thanks. Please don't cry. You know I'm leaving here tonight. Before I go, I want you to know there will always be a light. Yes, I looked it up on the internet, those new seats they have in first class. Why does a bed, they are, so he'll be having a super flight. Yep. God willing. Lucky thing, eh? Just think, this time in a year, he might be really famous, and you and I will be sat in here saying, Marty, yes, yes, we used to know him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to be quite... Still, good anecdote for the memoirs, though, about the seats in first class. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I uh, look forward to reading all about it. I don't know if I seem a bit different to you today. Not really, no. It's just that I went to cuddle party again last night. Did you? Yes, and I am now officially a cuddle buddy. Well done. <laughs> um, Rick, I hope you don't mind me saying, but you seem a little low. No, I'm great. Must be a difficult time for you. Not really. Marty jetting off to follow his star. Doesn't bother me. Mm. Leaving you here on your own. Mm. It's my choice. Yeah. I can't help feeling that I'm picking up a sense of rejection. Me? God, no. May I? <laughs> They'll be fed up with him by now. Five days of Mars is enough for anyone. Just past midnight there. He won't be in bed, he'll be swanning about at some party, pouring champagne down his neck, banging all about his so-called movie he's supposed to be making. <laughs> Everyone will be going, who's that guy? Oh, he's a friend of Will Stacy. Oh, I get it. A hanger on, come over here, hoping to get his green card. Oh, wait a minute, he's American, so he doesn't need one. Well, that's all worked out very nicely then, hasn't it? At least you're not obsessing about it. You're not finding this easy, are you? It's fine. It's, it's hard sitting there on your own trying to come up with jokes for the Fresh Lab Ceramic Toilet Conference. Of course, I'm pleased for Marty. It's just. Come here. <sighs> oh. God, you're tense. I'm sorry, I can't get the image of Michael lunging towards me out of my mind. Have you been in there since? Not bloody likely. It was all right when Marty was here. We could go in there, have a laugh. It was set up for the afternoon. 
Now I'm left to fend off Mr. Cuddle Party on my own. <sighs> You'll be okay. I mean, look at Pippa Coulson. Yeah. She made it out with her husband. No, but she's just been given a massive advance to write a book on divorce. <sighs> a book on divorce? Oh. Is it coming out in Pippa bag? <laughs> <laughs> you see? You don't need Marty. Yeah, she, does she call it? Yeah, it's coming out in Pippa bag. Dad, uh, sorry, are you working? Yeah, uh, no, it's okay. So, how's the dog walking business? Uh, not good. Hmm? Yeah, no, well, it started off all right, but um, dogs are cool, but the owners. The owners. Just so stressed out. Yeah, they're like, what time will you be here? When we were like 11, 12, and they'd go mental about it. What's it to them? And Ben was. Ben, you tell it. Oh, yeah, Tuesday had loads of dogs. Um, what's his name? Um, Regan. Regan, and um, loads of others. Right? And I had to tie them up outside this record shop, you know, because I had to go in. Fair enough. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, when I came out of it later, one of the owners is there, just went off on one. I thought, nah, that's it, you know, I've had it with this lark. Too much grief. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, well, the thing is, like, Dad, some of the owners didn't pay us, and so we're thinking if you could lend us a bit, and uh, when the owners do pay us, we'll pay you. Mm. Like 40 pep, Dad. 40, 50, 50. Yes, Dad. How's it going? Yeah, the weather was pretty good. Hotel was amazing. Did you get the job? I spent most of my time in the pool. One day I rented a car. Yeah, yeah. Did you get the job? Yeah, I got the job. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. <sighs> so when do you go back? Hopefully never. I told him to stick it. What? Yeah. I get to LA. In 24 hours, I remembered all the reasons I'd left in the first place. What about your mate, Will Stacy? Oh, man. Guy's turned into a complete asshole. Coked out of his brain. I knew if I stayed there, I'd start using again and I'd be dead by the time I'm 30. Okay, 40. Must update my exaggerations. Well, glad you come to your senses. Yeah, it's why I came here in the first place, to get away from jerks like that. That is precisely why I've never gone over there. It's amazing how success changes people. That's why I like being with you. I know that will never happen. Thank you. You're welcome. That was the Greenways gig. It was okay. <laughs> I met Hitler's long lost cousin. No kidding. <laughs> what did he look like? Did he have the little mustache? Just a little discreet swastika. And a lapel pin that said, Hi, I'm a Nazi. How can I help you? <laughs> Achtung. Uh, it's what I'm working on now. Fresh lab. Biggest supplies of ceramic toilets in Europe. Oh, man. I'm back. I'm home. <laughs> They're number one and number twos. Is it a motion picture? Oh, man, get out of here with that stuff. That's all right. It's no, a good no, really. No, Come get on. out of here with I that stuff. I could use stuff. that. No, no, you can flush it. Please <laughs> put it away. I know. 